You've seen F1 car versus MotoGP bike versus various weird rally cars. You've seen Rimac versus F1 car versus Spearling. But now it's the one you've been waiting for. Go kart versus push bike. Which of these is faster around Shennington go kart track in Oxfordshire? We will be comparing footage from me in a 2022 Arrive and Drive Club 100 race, the world's greatest Arrive and Drive karting championship, against GPS data from a Category 3 4 bike race in Banbury Stars inaugural Festival of Racing, which was a great event. Uh, I don't have any action cam footage from the bike, but this gives an idea of the racing from Alec Briggs. Great video, which you should watch if you're interested. So what's the contest? We have a guy in a Club 100 Senior Arrive and Drive go-kart powered by a 125cc Rotax Junior Max two-stroke engine running on unleaded fuel and two-stroke oil versus the same guy on an aluminium Boardman bike powered by two freshly shaved legs and running on Aldi chocolate crisp cereal and KMC Energy Gels from Cotswold Cycles, Morton in Marsh. Best bike shop in the world. Power output is 20 brake horsepower for the go-kart. And based on my most recent FTP test on an uncalibrated Peloton bike, 0.37 horsepowers for the bike. Club 100 go-kart weighs in at about 230 kilos, including driver and about four kilograms of ballast. Bike plus rider weighs in at somewhere between 80 and 81 kilos, affected by amount of water left in the water bottle and whether I went for a poo or not before starting. The Club 100 cart maintains contact with the tarmac with four Bridgestone slick tyres, and the bike, two Continental slick tyres. Weather conditions, go-kart running in perfect, dry, cool conditions. Bike race was scheduled for the end of a beautiful week of hot late summer's weather, which unfortunately ended two laps into the race as heavy rain fell for the rest of the race. God damn it. As we round Wilkins Hep in the final corner and head out in the go-kart towards the start and finish line, starting the lap now, a slight confidence lift into the left-hander in the go-kart, full on the power in the bike before braking hard into the right-hander and accelerating out and away. The go-kart taking the lead here with the bike slightly slower in the wet and the go-kart braking hard into the right-handed Stratford hairpin. And here we see a big flaw in what is really an extremely flawed experiment all round, arguably pointless. Club 100 go-karts used the shorter track at Shennington, while the Banbury Star Festival used the full longer lap with the second Stratford hairpin. So we'll fast forward the bike round to catch up with the go-kart and we're away again. The cart back in the lead into the right left right of the Bruno chicane with a bit of traffic now. The bike negotiates the chicane and we're down onto the back straight. The go-kart hitting top speed of about 55 miles per hour and the bike similarly hitting a massive top speed of 48.5 kilometers per hour. The go-kart is round the final right-hander, Wilkins hairpin are powering and across the line to complete the lap. Meanwhile, the bike tips right-handed onto the wet, soggy tarmac of the hairpin, powers hard out and away trying to use the slipstream of some riders in front and heading back and now as we go across the line in the bike so the results and obviously it wasn't particularly close the go-kart had a lap time of 54.5 seconds which was an average speed of 42.0 miles an hour the bike's true lap time was 1 minute 47, but if we do some honestly really pretty generous adjustment of the data to uh, compensate for the fact that the bike had a longer lap, I'm going to give it, and we've got to give poor me on a bike in the rain a chance here, a lap time of 1 minute 23 with an equivalent average speed of 27.5 miles per hour. So 
the Ferrari of go-karts beats a mediocre cyclist. There we have it, folks. What have we learned? I'm not exactly sure. But more importantly, we've had fun. And I'd like to thank Club 100 for all their excellent races and my not-sponsor Rich Edson Energy for their continued non-support of my car career and Banbury Star Cycle Club for putting on such a great event and perhaps giving me the honour of maybe being the only person to have crashed at Shennington in both a go-kart and on a push bike. Comment if you claim to be anyone else with that dubious honour. If not, I'm claiming it. That's my record. Alec Briggs said it in his cool video, maybe go-kart circuits are the future of UK bike racing. Um, I'm all for it. A North Cotswold CC race at Little Risington Kart Circuit, anyone? 